what makes a portrayal of a legendary character shine brighter than the rest? In the realm of Western cinema, few figures loom as large as Wyatt Earp. Captured on two screen by two renowned actors, Kurt Russell and Kevin Costner, the question remains, who truly embodied this iconic lawman? The early 90s brought forth a cinematic showdown. In 1993, Russell took on the role of Earp in Tombstone, while Costner starred as the same figure in Wyatt Earp just six months later. Box office numbers reveal much Tombstone grossed around $56 million, yet Wyatt Earp stumbled to $25 million. Critics too lean towards Russell's portrayal, granting his film a score of 73% versus Costner's dismal 31%. At the heart of the matter is more than mere numbers. It lies in the performances themselves. In Tombstone, Russell shines alongside Val Kilmer's unforgettable Doc Holliday. Their chemistry captivates the audience, creating emotional depth amidst the gunfights. In stark contrast, Costner's Herb has a more solitary battle, struggling through a lengthy backstory that lacks the gripping momentum found in its rival film. To appreciate these portrayals, a glimpse into who Wyatt Earp was is essential. A lawman born in 1848, Earp earned his reputation in places like Dodge City and Tombstone. His infamous participation in the shootout at the OK Corral cemented him in history. Uh, the films took various creative liberties in depicting his life, but only one actor truly in harness the spirit of the man. The tombstone depicts Earp's return to the law after the violent wedding massacre, orchestrated by the notorious outlaw Curly Bill, with brothers by his side, in a past filled with conflict, Russell's Earp confronts danger while grappling with deep personal losses. The action unfolds swiftly, propelling viewers into the chaos and morally complex world of the Wild West. As the story shifts to Wyatt Earp, the audience encounters a slower, more in-depth narrative. Directed by Lawrence Kasdan, this film attempts to chronicle Earp's entire life, sometimes losing the pulse that makes audiences feel alive. While Cosner delivers an earnest portrayal, moments of spectacular tension were overshadowed by the predictability of familiar events showcased more thrillingly in Tombstone. And before diving deeper into a comparison of the two performances, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, hit that like button if you're enjoying this uh, cinematic journey. All right. Thanks. And back to our showdown. Russell emerges as the heart of his film, portraying Earp's morality, vulnerability, and the toll of his heroine choices. Unlike Cosner's interpretation, Russell's Earp is a man of action, taking decisive steps to protect his brothers and confront his enemies. Each struggle delivers a powerful emotional punch, showcasing his commitment to justice in his lawless land. 1.5% of the meaning of the judge. In contrast, Costner's Earp feels more like a montage of history. Despite solid performances from a range of actors, the narrative lacks urgency. A depiction of Wyatt's formative years that hinders the evolution we crave from a character already steeped in legend. And seeing when people are hoving, the other insight writers as happen to be forced. I'm also saying that the story is of an easy ave that would be hopes and sanified for Catholics by Sentful of Wyatt Earp, while Costner's rendition often drags under the weight of its ambition. And to lighten the mood, why do Wyatt Earp always carry a pencil? Because he wanted to draw his gun. Well, with that said, uh, thanks for watching, and, and until next time.